Hi everyone. Now we will learn how we can make sign up API with the help of Laravel Centum package. And this Centum package will generate a token so that we can authenticate our APIs. So how we can generate this token that we will learn in this part with the sign up functionality and how we can authenticate our APIs with this token that you will learn in the upcoming part, right? Because there is a three part for this uh, sign up, login and authenticate our APIs. So this is the first part there we are working on the sign up in next part we will work on the login and in after that we will work on user uh, API authentication. Alright, so first of all we have to install Laravel API package. We know that how we can install this because since last six seven parts we working on the APIs and we already installed this package in our project also but again I'll give you a recap and uh, you can get to know how we can install this API package. And Centum package will automatically installed whenever you will install the uh, Laravel API package. After that, we have to run uh, migrate uh, migration for the table. Then we have to make controller. We have to up user model also so that uh, we can uh, use a Centum package with the user model. After that, we'll define routes. We will write some code for sign up API. We'll test our API and check token is it generating or not. And we'll also see we are getting new entry in the uh, user table or not right after sign up so right now you can see that we don't have any user table this is deleted so once we will run the migrate the user table will be there okay so first let's open the terminal and run command php artisan install colon api and uh, then it will check some updates and all and if uh, your laravel uh, uh, API package is already installed then you will get this error as I told you we are already using this package so that's why we are getting API route files are uh, uh, file is already exist right but don't worry now it will asking that you want to run the migration or not so you can just say yes and it will run the migrate migration automatically now after refreshing this you will see we have the user table uh, right now there is a no data so after sign up you will find that there is some entries also okay so migration is also done now the next thing is we have to make a controller so let's open this code also and let me just close all of this code and from scratch let me create one controller php artisan make controller and controller name can be let's say user auth controller and whenever you will hit enter you will see there is a new file inside the uh, controller and user controller so let me create their function function login and you can return something from there for now let's say uh, return login api function or something right and to just save our time, let's copy this and paste it for sign up. And for a moment, you can say that sign up API function. Now, next thing is we can uh, make route for this and test these routes. So let's open api.php file and then let's import this file. Use uh, user auth controller put semicolon at the last and now let's use their route colon colon post then uh, login let's give a path for login and similarly let's give a path for sign up also sign up and let's change this function name right now you can uh, run their php artisan server It should be surf. Yeah. Okay. So now we can test this URL. Is it working or not? So let me uh, just open a new request there. Select post request and uh, simply choose there. Sign up. And once we'll just hit on the URL, you'll see. Okay. We are getting one issue there. Mm -mm. Let me see what is this issue. Yeah. Actually, we have to use their. Uh, user auth controller actually by mistake i just mentioned there a student controller right so again you can check and now you can see that sign up api function getting called perfect 
okay so now let's say you want to send some data from there uh, because whenever we we will store some data uh, in the database so definitely we have to send this data right so just pass there three things name and name can be let's say anil situ which is my name then email can be let's say anil at the rate test.com and last one is password and you can mention their password is let's say one two three abc or something right you can put any password there but keep it remember because the same password will not saved in the database the, the password will be encrypted while we will send it to the uh, database let me just fix the typo yeah and if i just save it still you are getting the same response because there we are we have this static uh, return thing right so if i just simply put there return dollar request okay let me just take a variable dollar input and it will just take uh, all request there and now you can return dollar input like this and now let's check whatever we are passing there we are getting in the return perfectly fine okay so the next thing that we need to do okay let me check the uh, slide so the next thing we have to update the user model okay so just go to the model file user model and we have to import there uh, uh has api token library because this is belongs to the centum so you can men simply mention there use has api token like this right and uh, now you can use it like this as we are using the has factory and notifiable and that's all we just need to update this has api token only inside our user model again you can uh, uh, go back to the sign up function inside user auth controller there right so now let's we know that we have the password in this input request right but we want to encrypt this password so that there is a function in the laravel which is bigcrypt we can use that function and that will uh, uh, encrypt our password right so simply you can use their input there we can mention password and there i just mention their equal to bigcrypt input password right yeah after that there is a let's take a user variable right and uh, then we have the user model right so let's import it this is getting imported and there is a function create and if in the create we will pass the that uh, all inputs it will automatically store the data inside our uh, or you can say that create one user or one record inside our user table because see there this is a user table and this is the user model so it will definitely automatically store data in this table only right so you have to use create function there and after create that let's take another variable maybe success or anything whatever you want to take and then you can simply mention let's say you uh, in the success you want to get the token right so just use your token in the token how we'll get their dollar user then you can say that create token and then plain token a uh, text token and there you can mention anything let me, let's uh, any text that will be generate the token so let me put there my app or you can say that your project name a b c x y z you can put anything there and accordingly that token will be generated all right but keep in mind that should be secret uh, whenever you are creating project it should not be uh, uh, exposed to the users okay so the next thing is again take users and uh, then let's say you want to display the name also like what name of the user is there in the api so just use their username like this and now if you want to return then take array and uh, let's let me put their result and in this result you can mention dollar uh, success and then message you can also mention user register successfully All right 
yeah and uh, yeah that's all we have the data and we have the message also perfect now you can again test it so let me hit that uh, again from the new request and whenever i'm hitting you can see that the username is name token is there and message also we are getting there so if i just check it in the user you can see that one user is installed so let's say you want to store one more user maybe peter something and the email is peter at the rate parker password is let's say same again if i just save you can see that tip token is updated and the second user is also stored in the database so that's all for this part here we'll get to know how we can sign up and how we can uh, generate the token with the laravel centum package in next part we will learn login and then we'll see how we can authenticate our apis so this is my paytm number four donation if you still have any doubts you can ask me in the comment section thank you guys thank you so much for watching this part